Hello everyone of you, welcome and this is uh, Mr. Claudio Leka. So I welcome you all to this class and this is a crypto uh, class. So please pay very close attention. I know this might be new to you or this might be um, something that you are used to. However, it is this is the beginning. I'm starting from the basic level, which means I am assuming that each and every one of you here, you are all uh, newbies, which means you are all beginners. So uh, go to your Play Store or your App Store. You just search for Binance. So when you search for Binance, you click on it. So you would see the Binance, the first Binance, which is Binance Custody, Binance Academy. It's not necessary. So click on this, buy Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So when you click on this, you will, yeah, it's going to be installed. So after you've installed, it's going to show like this, that you click on open. So yeah, now you would see the sign up and the login. Very important. Nothing should confuse you here. Nothing at all. So now you click on login so if you you don't if you have an account you just put in if you have an account you've opened you put in your email and your password and you log in if you have a phone number you've created your binary with you put in your mobile number your password and you log in so there again if you do not have an account this is the first time you are using the binary platform so you have to click on register so when you click on register this is what is going to appear so your country of residence depend on where you are it could be nigeria it could be ghana it could be wherever it could be cameroon wherever it is so for instance now i'm using nigeria so you click on confirm so when you click on confirm this is what is going to show you now you're going to see uh let me write on this so so now you will see that this is a this is a create a personal account create an entity account so these are the two options that you are going to see and one of the thing again you should note that is very important is verify identity that is after you've created your account we are going to go into this so for now when you see this create an entity account for business that is if you want to start uh, buying and selling crypto as an uh, institution or as a firm like you you want to be a large uh professional trader or not but if you're not if you just want to create it for your personal trading use and whatever because if you click on this entity account you would need uh some document verification which might uh be a problem to you which you might not be able to provide so i would advise you you uh click on the i will advise you use the uh create personal account so when you create the personal account so that is going to be what you will do. So click on the personal account. This is the one you should click on. So when you click on it, then you do not click on this. Do not click on this. And please, while you're creating with a personal account, make sure you have a driver's license, number one, an international passport, number two. Then make sure you have maybe a voter's card or or any other national identity of your country make sure you have it so that's very very important so i said number one you should have your driver's license your international passport number two voters card or for any national identity because this will be required for you when you've created an account so the first step now is to click on the create a personal account so when you've done that you click on this so now it's going to take you into something like this so I'm just going to run through, uh, you through account details and everything. Uh, you can put in my referral ID. You're going to get a discount of 10% uh, discount in trade. And I'm going to also get 10% too. So that's how you help me. That's how I help you too. So now you put in your email, whatever your email is. You put it in. It's very important. So when you've put in your email and make sure when you're writing your password, I'm going to make it visible. For example, now your password now is, uh, your name now is Samuel. So now you have to put uh, on your caps so it will be, because uh, this password is case sensitive. So you on it, okay, let me show you for instance now. I just type something. You will see it said password must be at least eight characters with one uppercase letter and one number so uppercase is simple uppercase is the capital letter of this like a this is an uppercase this is a lowercase b now this is b uppercase this is uh 
be lowercase so when you're doing uppercase so your password now should be something that would be very difficult for another person to uh to use or forge or just log in and get access but nevertheless you have nothing to fear because your two-factor authenticator is going to be activated so now this is what you do so when you want to put your password do it something like this for example now my name is samson uh, and i want to get my password i can put some saying uh 2022 20, for instance then i can add at at dot like this so when you do something like this you see the option that, that uh written thing that was written before did not show again why is because this is a very powerful password and whatever your email is make sure it's ending with at whatever it is dot com that is very important so now when you uh Okay, let me just uh, create an account to just show you all something. Then we'll proceed. I'm back. So I just want to create an account and just help you all work through it. So we'll do it together. So now this is an account, an email I just created. Uh, trade with Cloud Maker. So this is just an account so now uh, you can fill in my referral ID it's optional the choice is yours to use and if you do not want to use the choice is still yours so now we just have to proceed to next so now they would uh, bring out this now I know this is going to be new to a lot of you so I'll just show you all how to walk through it and uh, let's go so this is now your security verification Binance is very very safe and very good for trading it is highly recommended so you have to just slide now if you slide here you would see that this would not work you see so you have to make sure that this now fits into this okay let me show you all so you have to make sure that this now this fits into this which means i'm going to slide this now to fit into this moving this from here to here so that's just what you should do so you have to move it now yeah this is correct you see good so now uh, you see email verification please enter the six verification code that was sent to trade with cloud oleka at gmail.com so i have to get the code now okay so i have to check for the code and if i don't see the code i will just click on get the code so you have to check for the code if you don't get the code then you just click on get code yeah verification code sent so email sent successfully so i have to reload my email to uh to see this email it's coming don't worry yourself So uh, I've got in the code, so I just have to click on submit. So make sure the code you copied is uh, exactly the same. So now looking at this chart now, this is uh, what we call the uh, uh, screen, right? So this is the Binance, this is the Binance Lights, which means, uh, sorry, this is the Binance Lights, which means that it's not the, <laughs> the normal Binance. The light is for basic people with basic, uh, understanding uh, basic knowledge so this is the binance light but i'll show you all how to switch it to the normal binance and how to go about it mm. yeah so this is how it's going to be binance light light binance light is uh is clicked yellow that's why you're seeing the interface like this it's very easy for you to understand and please remember that once you've created a binance uh account you need to have a mobile number you need to verify your account because see what binance uh just uh see what binance wrote uh out here they said you are required to complete uh intermediate uh verification to 
accessed by NICE services. So this is very important. So uh, make sure your mobile number is very, very, it's valid. So you have to click on identity verification. Uh, so you wait for it to load. Make sure you have a good internet, a fast internet as well. So you have to wait for it to load. So when it loads and... Uh... So see why, what I explained earlier. You would see uh, personal information, which is your real name, your date of birth, everything. You will see government issued ID, like I told you, a driver's license, your international passport, your voter's card, or your national identity. Uh, national identity. So these are the things that you should endeavor to have. So if you have any of this, then your facial recognition. Why are all these uh, processes taken? Why is is for the security of your account? It's for your own safety. And after you've completed this, your fiat uh, daily deposit will be $50,000. Your daily withdrawal will be $50,000. And your P2P sale will be unlimited. You understand so this is the benefit so you have to make sure you have uh, any of this uh, ver verification document available when you click on this first you verify your address and everything then your government issued ID then your facial recognition that you you uh, begin with the process looking at this you will see that binance will not allow you to do anything without you having uh, a phone uh, verification you have to verify your binance account which is your mobile phone must be verified why is because of the two uh factor authentication uh, in the sense that even if someone have your email and your password the person cannot still access your account until that individual uh sends out the code from your mobile number so that is why having a mobile number is a must it is a must you have a mobile number so after you verified your account, you will see uh, create account. You've done that. That's why it is ticked. Uh, that's why it is ticked uh, green. So you have to verify your identity. Then you unlock your price. Binance gives uh, newbies. They give them maybe fifty dollar voucher or whatever. So you unlock your price. So you have to verify. It. You see, verify your identity to protect your account. So this is very important. So if you're having issues with verifying your account, you can let me know. Please, your national ID card. Your national ID card. If you're in Nigeria, your national ID card should be the plastic one. Binance will not accept any paper ID. Paper ID will not be accepted, please. Paper ID are not accepted on the Binance platform. So no paper ID, please. Please, no paper ID. And one of the things I advise people to do, for instance now, you are a young student and you cannot... Uh, uh, what is it called? You you do not have a valid ID. You've not traveled out of the country before. You don't have a passport. You don't have uh, a voter's card. You don't have anything. Now, you definitely have an uncle or an aunt or your parent or something, somebody, an adult. So, at these adults, you have maybe have no interest with binaries. You could just create your email your phone number then use the person's name please the name should be the name you use in creating the account the email must not be the name but the name you're going to create your account which should be the real name that will appear on your id so you can use the person's id and still create the binance account because after that time uh binance would not request uh for that process again but the problem is binance will still request for a face id so what does this mean? It simply means that you have to you have to find somebody close to you that you know you can use the person's face. The person can accept to to do a face lock. Don't be scared. It's not scam. It's not fraudulent. It's not something that will endanger the lives of any of your close family members or anybody. And Binance would not use your details for anything. You understand? This is for those who have only paper ID. So if you have paper ID, please... Please find somebody else that have a plastic ID. Tell the person what you want to do with it, that this is legit trading. You can even share my link to the person to watch my video and know that this is no scam. I do not work with Binance. I do not work with any of this platform. I'm just tutoring you, teaching you how to go about this. So please, no paper ID.
please plastic id is what binance will accept and whoever you want to use please be rest assured that the person will use what we call the person will do a facial recognition so which means the binance will request the person facial id like the person will do some maybe hand pose or whatever whatever so now after you've logged in so you just have to uh, click here draw it back and now you've gone to the main binance this is binance pro can you see it so this is how it's going to be so this is what i want you to do so when you go to this place if you click back to the light you make it yellow you see this is how it's going to show but this should not scare you at all this is mr cloud Lake. i'm going to guide you through everything this is basic, so I assume each and every one of you do not know anything about Binance. So this is it. This is the mobile app tutorial. So if you're using your mobile app, if you go through your uh, laptop, your desktop, it's still the same process. So just click here, drag here back, you see? Just drag it back. Drag, you see, I'm trying to drag front and back, front and back. So drag it back, you enter the Binance Pro. You see, this is the Binance Pro. So now, this is what you're going to see in front of you. So this should not scare you at all. This should not scare you. This is this is your deposits. Uh, sorry, I need to make this yellow. Mm, tick yellow. Okay, this is your deposits. Your refra. Strategy trading. Your earnings. And this. Then this is important. This is the P2P trading, deposit NG bank transfer. Uh, this is the current price of Bitcoin now. This is current price of this ETH is Ethereum BUSD. So this should not scare you at all. None of this should scare you. This is your wallets. This is your futures. This is your trades. This is your market, and this is your home. I'm going to guide you all through all this process so this should not scare you at all there is you have no reason to be scared you have no reason to be afraid you have no reason to to be like oh god what will i do how will i go about this nothing should scare you i got you covered okay so let's proceed nine seven three three oh one So I'm in now, account created by NICE. So they want me to verify because without this verification, they won't allow me to use their app. You understand? So that's why it's important you verify your identity. So you click on verify now. So this is very important. So now you see, now this is a very important place. So... So now your first name, which is your name, your name now can be Samson. You write, you type out your name. Your surname can be Paul or whatever it is. You type your Paul. So your date of birth, please, the date of birth you should use should be the one that tallies with your identity card with any of your id card it's most tally like it's must be the same thing so your date of birth the year the month and the day the year can be 2000 the month can be 10 the day can be 9 so your middle name is important which is uh your given name your nickname whatever the middle name in your passport uh so it can be anything could be robert so whatever it is, your nationality too is very important. If you're not a Nigerian, you can use your nationality. Please, please, any detail you fill in here should tally with the name on your passport or your voter's card or your national ID or your driver's license. Remember what I said, the ID card you're going to use must be plastic. It shouldn't be paper form. It must be a plastic ID card. If not, the binaries will cancel whatever stress and process you've gone through. 
So now your residential address is important in case you do money laundry with your account. So you put your residential address, you set your postal code. If you do not know your postal code, Google is there for you. If you live in Lagos, you live in Accra, you live anywhere, just type, uh, let's say, Accra uh, postal code. Just search this on Google. Google will bring out whatever. Or if you live in Lagos, you type Lagos postal code. You understand? Whatever you type, it's going to bring it out. So just fill it here. That you fill your city, that you fill your residential address. Uh, why is this address important? It's important because when you will want to verify your address for you to have uh, to start trading two hundred thousand dollars and above daily, you will need to verify your residential address. So they would require this address, and this address must match uh, the address that you're going to be submitting to them. Then, if not, they will say, "Oh, this person is fraudulent." And Binance will not allow you to do anything fraudulent with their platform so you have to be very very careful so now this is the next step you would see so now remember i told you all this if you're not in nigerian you can just click on here to change it so now you see name sleep national id card okay it's like they accept sleep now paper form i do not know but when i did my banners don't accept only the following documents now you see a driver's license you will see so you see all this now are important so if you're not a nigerian just change this so you don't have you don't need to have all these three if you have this one you're good to go if you have this one you're still good to go if you have this one you're still good to go so you, you you can have either of the three either of it you have available you're still very good to go so you do not have to have the three of them you can have your passport you can have your national id card your voters card whatever you can have your driver's license so when you've had any of this now you're going to click on continue so after you click on continue binance will ask you to snap I can't. Uh, I will. I will. I will try and see. But I already have an account, so I can't uh, double have an account. So, uh, let's just go. Let's go to the next step. Mm. So you've seen this now. You said government issued, which is the number one factor to consider. Which means the government of your country must have issued it. It's not something you just go and do yourself. Like go to the cyber cafe and just uh, create. Binance is going to verify your documents, and they are going to be sure. Oh, they are going to submit it to the government portal, and they are going. They are going to be sure that this is you you can't you can't bypass this so again he said original full site on edited documents which means you don't have to edit anything at all so the original full size it now said again place documents against a single colored background which means on a white background or whatever color whatever color background you want to use you can use white you can use black you can use but single color not a multicolor so i'm so sorry i had to uh remove the noise my pen was making please i'm so very very sorry very very sorry so now you said uh no black or white images this is very important no black or white images no edited or expired documents so now this is the front of your id and the back that is if you're using a uh, voter's card a voter's card or a national id depending on whatever you are using so it said front and back document you snap the front and back but if you're using a passport you can snap just the front uh you can still snap the back that is you open the front page at the back page uh you understand don't just snap your back and forth of your passport please so it's safe it's safe it's very very safe so after you are done with this uh when you're done uh then we'll now proceed into this so please just uh, follow the process and if you have any question this is the beginner stage this is the first class crypto class so if you have any question you just let me know remember to toggle uh, light and pro is just here move like this you've toggled to uh, binance lights so when you move back uh, you've toggled back to the binance uh, pro you see it here the binance pro so uh, do not be scared because i'm going to teach you using the binance pro so everything will be easy for you so this is your wallet this is where you see login i've not logged in futures this is where you trade futures your trades 
your market, your home. I'm going to teach you all of this. So I want each and every one of you to pay attention to this. Watch the video. And on Monday, we are going to continue. I am so privileged to be your tutor to walk you through this journey. And I hope you learn a whole lot. And I hope you follow my process, the registration process, the everything is very easy just keep following and following i try to make sure i break down everything so you can understand everything bit by bit because i assume most of you do not know anything in this field at all so let's go see you all on monday thanks